everyone, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be showing you how you can train your rats to push a cart. Prop-wise, you will need a rat-sized cart, and in my case, I will be using a mini novelty shopping cart. You can find these online, usually sold to hold pencils or other desktop items, and I will be linking the cart that I use in the description down below. You will also need a few small heavy items to weigh down the cart, along with need a slightly sloped smooth surface for the initial training of this trick. One final note before we start, and that is if you'd like some more information on some of the basics of rat training, feel free to check out my Ultimate Guide to Rat Training video, which I will be linking in the description down below. Now to start training a rat to push a cart, you want to start by placing the cart such that it can't roll. You can do this by placing it on fabric, or you can block the wheels, or you can even just hold it steady with your other hand. Once you are sure the cart won't move, you now want to lure your rat into placing their front paws onto the cart handle, then reward them in position. Repeat this a few times, then lure the rat off the cart and point them back at the handle, rewarding them when they place their paws on the handle. If need be, you can lure them back to the handle before rewarding, then fade this by gesturing and finally just pointing at the handle, rewarding your rat when they place their paws on it. Make sure you don't let them jump up onto the cart by rewarding them in position in rapid succession. Once your rat will place their front paws onto the cart handle when you point at it, you can then start to add some motion. Place the cart on a slightly sloped smooth surface and place a counterweight in the cart. The slope will help the rat get the idea for how to push the cart forwards and the counterweight will stop them from tipping it over by accident. Now just like before, you want to point your rat at the cart handle and when they go over to place their paws on the handle, the slope should force the cart into rolling a bit. Hold your lure in front of the cart in order to encourage your rat to walk with the cart and keep their paws on it, then reward them after a step or two. Repeat this a few times, then start to use your lure to encourage your rat into pushing the cart an extra few steps as it rolls. Reward them once they have pushed it these extra few steps, and then repeat this a few times. Once your rat can consistently push the cart a few steps, you want to then start to reduce the slope. Gradually decrease the angle until your rat is pushing the cart on a flat surface. Because this is increasing criteria, you will want to go back to rewarding for a step or two, then work your way up to several steps again. Once your rat can push the cart several inches on a flat surface while being lured forwards, you now want to start to fade out the lure. You can do this by just luring them the first few steps, then waiting for another step or two without following the lure before you reward them. Gradually work your way up to your rat pushing the cart without any lure needed. At this point, you can also remove the counterweights from the basket, as if your rat is pushing the cart correctly, it won't tip over, and this allows for combo tricks like having your rat place items into the cart first before pushing it. And that's all there is to it! Pushing a cart is a fun trick that requires a lot of balance and skill from your rats. It's a super cute trick as well, and once mastered, it can be used for many different trick chains. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, so before I go, I just wanted to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support, it really means a lot to me. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.